Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to access and use the ChatGPT Playground. Alright, so if you're not familiar, basically you can use ChatGPT in the ChatGPT Playground, which is a way to change the settings of the ChatGPT model and still interact with the ChatGPT the same way how you do in chat.openai.com. So you can access the Playground feature of uh, ChatGPT by going to platform.openai.com. So this is the OpenAI API website basically. And to access the Playground, you can click on Playground here in the top. If you haven't used the Playground model before or you haven't created a ChatGPT API key yet, first you have to make sure to create a secret OpenAI API key. I have a separate tutorial on how to set up a ChatGPT API key, but if you haven't watched that video yet, here is the very quick way to do it. So all you have to do is open up the same website, so platform.openai.com, and click on your account name, and then select View API Keys, and here's where you're going to be able to create a new secret key, which is necessary to be able to use the ChatGPT Playground. Then, if you haven't received a ChatGPT API free credit, then you also have to set up a paid OpenAI account to be able to access the ChatGPT API and the other API products like the ChatGPT Playground. I also have a tutorial on this on how to set this up, but you don't have to worry about the cost because it's really cheap. I also have a tutorial on how to uh, calculate how much does the API cost, but it's really, really cheap, so you don't really have to worry about uh, the cost. All right, so once you have set up a ChatGPT API key, you're going to be able to use the Playground. To be able to use the ChatGPT Playground, you have to select the chat mode here, because as you can see here, you can not just use the Playground to interact with the ChatGPT model, but with other OpenAI models, so like text DaVinci model and the query model and other models as well. So as you can see, you can also use the previous models as well if you want to do that. But in this case, we have to select chat if you want to use at the uh, ChatGPT uh, Playground. So the Playground works pretty similarly to the ChatGPT. So you can add here the user prompts, which are basically the ChatGPT prompts. So let's see an example. So all you have to do is add the prompt, the ChatGPT prompt here. So as an example, write me a blog post intro on how to make money online. Then just you have just have to click submit and the assistant section here's where you're gonna be able to see the ChatGPT uh, reply or response or output. And if you want to interact with the ChatGPT assistant, you can click on add message and add another user prompt that you can use to also refer back to the previous content in the ChatGPT conversation. Before we would wrap up, one more thing how the Playground is better than the simple ChatGPT website. So as you can see, you can change up the setup of the ChatGPT model. So these are not really available in the chat.openai.com website. So you can change the temperature, which basically controls the randomness of the ChatGPT model. As the temperature approaches zero, uh, the model will become more deterministic and less random. So if you want to have more creative results, you have to increase the temperature to one. You can also change the maximum length, the tokens you want the ChatGPT models to generate. You can increase up to 2048. And one token is roughly four characters, which means that around 1000 tokens is, I think, about uh, 750 words in the English language. You can also change the top P, which controls the diversity via nucleus sampling. So 0 0.5 means that half of all likelihood weighted options are considered. You can also say change the frequency penalty and the presence penalty as well. The frequency penalty determines how much you would want to penalize new tokens based on their existing frequency in the text so far. So if you increase the penalty, it means that it will decrease the model's likelihood to repeat the same line verbatim. So as you can see with the playground, you can also change uh, the model settings here and you can interact with the ChatGPT assistant as well, just like in chat.openai.com. So all in all, this is how to use the ChatGPT playground in platform.openai.com.